Yeah, what's up? Me, Muck713, Be Honest Bandits Vlogs, Season 13, Day 20. <sighs> Today has been sort of a bad day for me. Let's just go down the list of problems and trials and tribulations of the world of me, Muck713. <sighs> Where do I start? Number one, I haven't finished packing. As of this vlog, it is... Oh, crap, we had a lightning storm, so that doesn't have a timer. Okay, basically, it is, um, I think it's 5 o'clock, like 5.15, 5.30, somewhere around there. And I still haven't packed. My friend Kevin is going to be here in an hour and a half. I still need to clean myself up. I did go to the haircut. I mean, I barbershop, got a nice mohawk. Uh, uh, looking fresh for Polymorphicon. Can't wait. Um, but yeah, I haven't finished packing. That's number one. But that's not the tip of the iceberg. Apparently, three things. Number one. I just found out last night that flying through, first of all, blank Spirit Airlines. Use your imagination. I'm not never flying Spirit Airlines again. Because apparently, I did not know that you have to pay for not only your luggage, but you have to pay for carry-on hand items, like a backpack. A simple book bag. You have to pay $35. Do you hear me right now? My famous pink backpack looking like Kanye West in the college dropout days. You have to pay $35. This, this weighs about, I, I haven't even filled it in yet. Weighs probably no more than 15 pounds at the very most. Probably won't even weigh that much. $35. But yet, but yet, this big ass suitcase that's about going to be probably about a good 60 pounds because that's the maximum limit is going to be $30. I can understand the $30 one. It's a big suitcase, but a carry on, a carry on $30. And here's the kicker right here. Here's the kicker right here. That's only to LA. I got to pay for it coming back to LA. Are you freaking kidding me? I got to pay not only to go to L.A., but to come back to L.A. Another additional $30. So let's do the math. So $35 plus $30 is $65, right? And here's the thing. Here's the thing. That was yesterday. I paid that fee. Today. Let's come to today. I put some money in my bank account and everything because I was like, okay, I'm going to go ahead, pay this 30, 30, the $65, and then I'll pay it on tomorrow. So since it's less than 24 hours closer to the flight, today, and I just paid them, today they just charged me $45 for a carry-on and $40 for your baggage. I just want to drop this camera. $85. 80 mother freaking five dollars so far just on baggage alone and i'm not gonna keep ranting about this because i forgot i'm limited on time but that's stupid like 80 oh my god oh. so i paid about 150 dollars already just for baggage fees that i didn't even board the plane yet that's ridiculous to make matters worse I ran up. I was supposed to print out my boarding pass, which I'm pretty sure I could do it at the airport, and I run out of ink. Like, oops, I can't show you that document because it has addresses and stuff. But just, yeah, just know that. That's just know that you know, I have to pay $150 for my bags to fly before I even get on the plane. But and I can't even print out my boarding pass. But I think that's just a minor detail. I could probably print that out at the airport or something like that. But here's another thing that happened today. My package through FedEx. Remember the packet for Power Morphicon, that big ass box that I had. It didn't reach its destination. Cause you know why? Apparently they quote unquote said that it was a wrong address on the package. Which is completely bullshit, and I don't even care. I'm pissed off. I usually don't curse in my vault, but dude, like, I, I'm not gonna, you know, because of privacy reasons. I made two printouts. Like, when I put the label on the package, I copy and paste it. I copy and paste it, the address onto the package. There's no way in hell a copy and a paste 
can come out to a wrong address unless he's just sent me a, a whole, you know, a wrong address on his own. But he didn't. I even confirmed it today with him. He said, no, that's the right address. So, and I even have, like I said, I can't show you, but I even have like a, it's, you can't really see because of the ink, but I even have a copy, like a double copy of the damn address, which is, oh my God, like everything, it's just shipping and bags and all this other BS, man. And on top of that, I haven't started packing. Whoop the freaking do. I'm pissed. I'm so pissed. This is not the way I wanted to start Power Morphicon. Make matters worse, Kevin is on his way any second. I haven't finished packing. I'm probably about 45, maybe 50% done, but... Whew! Oh my god, I'm just... I need a cigarette. I don't even smoke. I don't even know why I just said that, but... Oh my god. Let me see. And I'm washing some stuff right now. It smells good. This is my compression shirt and stuff. But anyway, that's besides the point. That's pretty much dry. I'm just pissed. I am just pissed. Nothing is going my way today at all. At all. This is becoming a bad day. Just shipping, baggage fees, printer running out of ink. What is next? What is next? I don't know. Only thing that, that happened good today was I got a fresh haircut that I'm ready to go show out in Power Morphicon. And this badass Goku shirt. Let me see if I can hold it up. Mm. That was the only things that happened today. Got a badass shirt, which I'm, I'm going to take this one to Pop Morphicon. And running out of, I mean, and uh, the haircut. That's it. So, excuse me while I go through this little dilemma because I'm not going to spend another minute ranting because I'm pretty sure you're tired of hearing me, you know, bitch about these things but i'm just pissed so on that note let me handle my business i'll talk to y'all tomorrow peace